What's going on, socialites? Welcome back to another global Pokemon Society Draft League battle. It's week seven, and we got a sibling rivalry here as Danielle and the Tokyo Tokus take on Matt in the Black City Zekrom. I could be wrong, but I think this might be, at least in a while, the first time these two teams are facing off against each other. We see Tokyo bringing the same six they brought all season. Tokyo sitting in the basement of the league right now. But they're bringing Dragonite, Blastoise, x Bloud, Snorlax, Zatu, and Grumpeg. Black City gained their first win of the season last week as a forfeit against the Memphis Mews. But they're bringing Jirachi, Feraligator, Tentacruel, Venomoth, Sceptile, and Walrein. Guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like these Draft League videos. And leave a comment. Uh, I'm going to try and do like a question of the battle going forward if I remember to do that. So tell me your favorite Pokemon type. Comment your favorite Pokemon type and why you like it. For me, it's probably the flying type. I feel like it's got pretty good offensive and defensive. Utility and flying Pokemon are just kind of cool, you know things with wings Pretty cool. We see the leads here Venomoth and Grumpig Looks like a real nice lead for Venomoth here Ooh, Venomoth gained the substitute up Grumpig though gonna deny that with a power gem Grumpig with the Sleep Powder, but... Excuse me, Ven Venomoth misses with the Sleep Powder, so Grumpig getting some damage off here. Not enough to KO Venomoth. But pretty nice. Ooh. Grumpig getting a little greedy here, going with... The Nasty Plot. And Venomoth with the Bug Buzz. Not able to take down Grumpig, though. But since Grumpig went for the nasty plot, that will mean that Venomoth can pick up the KO here. So Venomoth will get the KO on Grumpig. Not sure I can agree with that nasty plot in that position. Dragonite's gonna come out here. Gonna finish off Venomoth with the extreme speed. Black City sends out Wall Rain. Dragonite's actually going to stay in here. Going to go for an Outrage. Big damage on the Wall Ring. What does Wall Ring go for? The Ice Fang, but Dragonite's Yachi Berry. Weakening that attack. Dragonite, continuing its outrage, is going to pick up the KO here on Walrein. Dragonite's going to get another outrage off, so we could see Jirachi come in here. No, it's going to be for Alligator. A very bold play. Ooh, 
Dragonite getting the Outrage off. Huge damage onto Feraligator. Feraligator with the Ice Punch does finish off Dragonite. Tokyo gonna send out Blastoise, their Shell Smash Sweeper, or Alligator with the Crunch. Not getting that defense drop or anything. So Blastoise gets the Shell Smash off, raising its special attack, attack and speed by plus two. And thanks to the White Herb, it does not get any defense drops. The Dark Pulse comes out and takes down for Alligator. And it might be all up to Tentacruel here if it's going to be able to slow down Blastoise. Black City goes in a Sceptile. It could be Focus Sash, perhaps. Here's the Ice Beam from Blastoise. No, no Focus Sash. The Sceptile faints. Blastoise getting another KO. Here comes Tentacruel now. Blastoise gets the Dark Pulse off. How much will this do? Not a lot to Tentacruel. So there is a chance, but Tentacruel is hitting with Surf. Might be able to get back against Blastoise here. Oh, that was a crit. Uh, but Tentacruel has recovery. So it depends if Blastoise can get a couple flinches or not. Blastoise could also try and Shell Smash again. But it might not be worth it. Last one's going with the Surf. Is it in Torrent range here? That did look like some good damage. Oh, Tentacruel though, setting up the Aqua Ring. Now it's going to heal back a lot of health here. The Black Sludge and the Aqua Ring. Was with another surf. Should be able to KO on the next one here. As it looks like Tentacruel doesn't have any poison attacks. Let's see. Will this surf be enough? Now, Tentacruel able to hang on again has so much recovery. But will this surf be enough to take down Blastoise? No. So these two water Pokemon just trading surfs with each other. But Blastoise will be the one to come out on top. Down goes Tentacruel. That's going to leave Jesterachi, which Dark Pulse should be able to KO here. Oh, but they're going to go with the Surf. That might still KO. Ooh, no, not able to KO. 
So Jirachi does get some revenge on the Blastoise. Cloud comes out here. Jirachi with the flash cannon gets a critical hit, but X Cloud with the flamethrower will finish off Jirachi. And Tokyo takes game one. Pretty convincingly, once Blastoise was able to set up here. We're going to pause it real quick, guys, and then we'll be back for game two. All right, socialites, we're back here as Tokyo and Black Sea are game ready for game two. Tokyo able to take game one after a Blastoise shell smash. I have to see what adjustments Black City makes to bring this to a game three, perhaps. Alligator setting up the Dragon Dance right in front of x Cloud. x Cloud not to be taken lightly, though. Goes for the Boom Burst. But for Alligator, just able to survive. For Alligator going for the Waterfall. Takes down x Cloud. Dragonite's gonna come out though, and it's gonna be able to extreme speed to take out Feraligator here. Unless Feraligator wants to switch out. Feraligator does switch out. And Walrein's gonna come in. Rain takes the extreme speed. Snorlax comes out here, takes the Ice Fang. Not doing much to Snorlax. Warren switches out. Jirachi comes in. Snorlax's gonna get the belly drum off. And restores the HP with its Aya Papa Berry. Rachi getting up a substitute. Snorlax with a high horsepower.
Breaking through Jirachi's sub. Jirachi goes with the Flash Cannon. Snorlax, though, didn't want to go for another high horsepower here. Still does some real big damage on that body slam. And now we might actually get to see a last resort from Snorlax here. Jirachi does get a critical hit. Last resort taking out Jirachi. Venomoth comes out. Venomoth with the sleep powder. Looks like Venomoth's gonna try to get some quiver dances up as it sets up the substitute. Let's see, will Snorlax stay asleep? It does stay asleep. Venomoth getting off the quiver dance. Venomoth gets another quiver dance off. Snorlax does wake up here, and it will break Venomoth's sub. But now Venomoth's sitting at plus two special attack, special defense, and speed. Venomoth will pick up the KO on Snorlax. Dragonite comes out. Venomoth the sleep powder, but Dragonite avoids it. Venomoth probably wouldn't have gotten the KO with Bug Buzz because of multi scale. So the Fire Punch takes down Venomoth. Tentacruel comes out. A big earthquake here. Taking down Tentacruel in one hit. I say he's gonna send a wall rain. Dragonite with the Outrage. Almost takes down Walrein. Walrein with the Ice Fang, but Dragonite has the Yachi Berry. Dragonite will pick up the KO. 
Taking out Wall Rain with the Outrage. Dragonite confused. He's able to get the extreme speed off though and take down Veraligator. That's going to leave only Sceptile. Not sure what Sceptile's item is. The Dragon Post comes out though. Will it be enough to take down Dragonite? No, Dragonite able to survive. It snaps out of the confusion and goes for the fire punch. And takes down Sceptile. So with that, Dragonite cleaning up Tokyo defeats Black City in two games. Guys, thanks for watching. And as always, stay classy, society.